beauty, they say, lies in the eye of the beholder. So today I'll be talking to you about women who use lip plates as a sign of beautification as well as a part of their culture. I am Yaki Adam Sofodiamai. This is your first time here. Please subscribe so you can get to watch more amazing videos. Let's get started. Across the world, there are people who have not been swayed by the technological advancement but have rather maintained their traditional way of life. Some of these kind of people are found around Lake Turkana and the lower Omor Valley in southern Ethiopia. The Somar people is made up of three ethnic groups, the Marsi, the Suri and the Mekan people. The Suri and Marsi share a similar culture. The women's beauty is determined by how large their lip plates are. The lip plate has become the chief visible distinguishing characteristic of the Marsi and made them a prime attraction for tourists. A girl's lower lip is cut by her mother or another woman of her settlement when she reaches the age of 15 or 16. The cut is held open by a wooden plug until the wound heals, which can take around, say, maybe three months. It appears to be up to the individual girl to decide how far she wants to stretch her lips by inserting progressively larger plugs over a period of several months. Some by no means at all. Girls preserve until their lips can take plates of 12 centimeters or even more in diameter. We see this representation of lip plates being made in the black 
Panther movie as well. Some of us were just wondering what could this be. We thought maybe it was film trick or something, but no, this is actually a tradition that is being upheld even till today. This just shows how the ritual and tradition is not dead amongst both men and women. Apart from designing their skin with incisions and patterns, which are sometimes painted, the lip plate is seen as a boost of one's self-esteem. The lip plate tradition is valued by both parents because it indirectly means that the father's number of cows will increase when he is paid the daughter's dowry. Any man who must marry a Suri or Mossy lady has to be wealthy because her dowry usually falls between 40 cattle for the small plates and 60 cattle for the large lip plates. Mm unbelievable it is uncertain how this bizarre custom came into being one theory is that lip plating originated as a deliberate disfigurement designed to make women and young girls less attractive to slave traders another theory says that the size of the lip plates that is the bigger the better was a sign of social importance or wealth within the tribe another analysis indicated that the bigger the size of the lip plate, the bigger the dowry a bride price would be on the wedding day. For example, the larger the lip plate, the greater number of cows the bride's father can demand as his daughter's dowry. But some researchers dispute this theory, arguing that marriage of most tribal girls as well as the size of their dowries is prearranged long before their lips are even cut out. Others suggest that lip plating is simply an ornamentation meant to symbolize a woman's strength and self-esteem. The practice is also described as being a sign of social maturity and reaching reproduction age, thus indicating a girl's eligibility to become a wife. Lip plates didn't just start recently as I happened to stumble upon some old pictures. Here are vintage photos of African women with their traditional lip plates from the early 20th century.
wow, what a tradition. And I mean, there is just so many theories surrounding this tradition that one can never be so sure of which is right or which is wrong. What are your thoughts? Let me know them in the comment section. Remember to subscribe, like the video, share the video, leave a comment as well. Also, I come your way weekly. So please, let's stay connected. See you next time.